What is going on guys? Back on the 5.3 build. As you can see, we're almost done. But what I'm doing now is mocking up the steam line the way I want it. Uh, steam line is important in the LS engine. Uh, the rear, not so much. But the front, you need to be able to burp that steam to the radiator. And how we're going to do that is we have this ICT billet crossover, which puts it on the passenger side versus the factory down there, has it on the driver's side. I've got a 1 8 NPT straight fitting here, which is a dash four. We are going to drill and tap into the water pump right here, which is our return, and put a 90 degree 1 8 NPT fitting in, and then we will build a dash four hose. So as long as it is going back to the radiator where it can burp it out, we will be fine. I did, you can do, this is an LS3 water pump, which has the truck spacing, but you can also use a truck pump. I tapped my blazer into the truck pump. I just uh, tapped into the top of the return, which I can throw some pictures of that in later. But uh, for this one, we're running the LS3 pump because we're running dual fa electric fans, so it looks a little cleaner. The hose will be quite a bit shorter, not have it way over here, up top. And I can run this LS3 gold blade throttle body. So what I'm gonna do now is just uh, have the water pump up, just see what it looked like on here. I'm gonna pull it off. We will use, a, we will drill it, tap it, and we'll build the hose. So let me get this water pump pulled off, guys, and we'll, uh, we'll drill into this water pump. All right, guys, I went ahead and just drilled my center punch hole already, or center punched it. Drilled a little pilot hole, and uh, now we're going to use, it's a Type R drill bit, which is, I'm pretty sure just means it's tapered. I'll link the description down on like Amazon where you can pick one up. It, mine came with the drill bit and the tap I needed, and uh, we'll get to drilling this hole. You just wanna take it nice and slow. All right, so you can see, we got our hole. Try to set it up better for you. There we go. Let me go grab a tap. So the tap is a 1 8 NPT by 27. There you go. So, but like when you're making threads, especially with aluminum, you want to go nice and slow. Let me try to find a socket that'll fit this. All right. So I got a 12 point socket. It's a three eight, pretty dang good fit. So we're just gonna, sorry, it's a terrible camera angle guys. We're gonna focus on make sure I get this straight. And we're just gonna slowly start cutting those threads. Take it nice and slow. Until it starts to bind, then come back out with it. Then we'll start going back in, cut a little more. Starting to bind again, reverse it out. Going pretty smooth, we'll go back in. We're gonna come all the way out this time just to see our progress. Get the tap completely out. Make sure we cut threads all the way through. And we're probably gonna run it back in just one more time to be sure. Now I know it's kind of probably a little nerve wracking to drill into a $200 water pump and tap it but as long as you take your time everything will be all right all right so that's got to be well and good guys come on focus it 
see all the threads kind of it would focus so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get my 45 degree fitting and i will put some thread locker on it and we'll get it put in i'll be right back right, guys. So this is what it looks like we got our 45 or sorry our 90 i'll probably uh just tweak the angle a little bit from here to there but right now i'm gonna go grab some fittings looks like i'll need a 90 degree and then a right, guys this is what i came up with i didn't have a 90 but i did have two 45s which this hose may need just a little bit shortening which is just kind of mocked in there for right now the water pump only has a couple bolts in it i'm not going to put that on until after we get it set in the engine bay but i needed to drill this hole and everything before so that's what it's going to end up looking like I may try to get some silver fittings and some silver hose, but as of right now, that don't look terrible and it's pretty well hidden. So if you're going to run your steam line, this is one of the cleanest ways to do it. I'm not a big fan of tapping into the water hose or running it all the way to the radiator. This is simple, clean. It all goes back to the radiator. As long as you're able to burp that steam back to the radiator, which the upper radiator hose goes to the radiator, it uh, simplifies it, makes it look very clean and, uh, obviously this throttle body doesn't have any provisions for a steam line so that's what we're gonna do if you like the video guys like comment subscribe catch you on the next one